Hi, welcome to this Rosa photo video about Lightroom. Today I'm going to give you a new tip about Lightroom, how to use it in a better and a faster way. Enjoy watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because soon we will launch a new set of videos about Lightroom. So please keep an eye on our YouTube channel. During my city trips I apply HDR photography on a regular base and after all the photos are in Lightroom uh, it's basically a mix between the single exposures, the single photos and the HDR. For example this, this and this photo. Uh, those three photos are part of HDR. Here is another series of three. Um, also here you can see a series of three. And what I prefer in Lightroom is to have those three photos stacked because it's basically one photo in the end. So you can do that um, yeah, one by one. So I can press the right key, um, go to stacking and pick this option group into stack. But that, that takes a lot of time of course and I'm happy that there's a way easier option in Lightroom that can do this work automatically. So what you have to do is you go to photo in the menu bar, go to stacking and pick the last option out of stack by capture time. You get this little window and basically here you can tell Lightroom how many time there have to be between the different stacks and that kind of differs per type of HDR. If you do HDR during night photography it takes of course more time to take all those photos so then uh, the time in between will be a bit larger but most of the photos I took here in Paris was during the day so for that reason I pick uh, a smaller time frame and the good thing if you use the extended um, previews here you can see the icon here that basically already tells you if you uh, press stack how many photos will be there in the stack and in this case it tells me that there will be five and that's right because it's only three but I already merged the photo uh, so those photos also belong to it those three photos that's a new stack that's right but I see for example here the, the photos we started with uh, it wants to merge all six photos to one stack and basically there are two there two different stacks so that means I have to change this time let's see what happens if I make it two seconds as you can see it already helps and this will be only three and the next stack probably also so I think this setting is right for the photos I see here it tells me here that there are 54 stacks in total and 163 photos are unstacked so I press stack and basically that does all the work for me and of course this doesn't apply well for all the photos so it is possible that there is a wrong stack but I can see here 333 three, three. usually I shoot three photos when I do HDR one without exposure compensation one with minus two or one with plus two but it's possible of course that there is a wrong stack but you can always unstack it and then um, yeah, correct it so this is for me the fastest way um, to stack the photos and in general it applies the setting well for 90% of all HDR photos so it takes away a lot of uh, time and that means more time for uh, the post processing and more time for photography. Hopefully you learned something new please let me know below this video if you learned something new and if you have any questions or um, any requests for other tutorials please let us know, we are happy to help you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel.